Swords and Potions. How do you build third and fourth workshops? What the heck is 1BS for 1BS that you see in chat? And how do you trade in this game? What are points? These are some of the questions we'll be answering in this short tutorial video. First, this is only something you really need to worry about if you have at least 25,000 gold, and if you're level 10 to 15. Let's start with how do you build improvements, such as a third or fourth workshop. This also applies to any other improvements. To start an improvement, click on the treasure chest at the top part of the screen. The third and fourth workshop cost 25,000 each. Go ahead and click on that. But wait, why didn't it build? Well, unfortunately, there's still another step left. You'll see the screen changed, and now it shows 1,000 each of four different little pictures. These, this means you need 1,000 points each of the four different craftsmen. The first one is the blacksmith, the second one is the carpenter, the third one is the tailor, and the fourth one is the sorceress. Here's the problem. You cannot provide those points. Only other people can provide those points. And what are those points? Let's click on the blacksmith and find out. Here's the blacksmith points. They're called co-op points, and you can see right here that I have 1,000 of them. You get these points by doing anything with your craftsmen, such as building or researching. Each craftsman can only accumulate 1,000 of these points at a time, and these are the points that you trade to others so that they will help you with your improvements with their points. How do you trade these points so you can get your improvements built? Well, first, you need to find someone to trade with, so you look at chat for messages such as 1KBS for 1KBS, and then talk to them. In this case, that means 1,000 of your blacksmith points in return for 1,000 of their blacksmith points. The first step in this trade is to make a temporary guild and then invite the other guy into the guild so that you can improve each other. Go ahead and click on the guild button at the top of the screen. Next, fill in a temporary name for your guild and click Create a Guild. The guild status screen will now pop up and you can see that you're the only one in the guild. We need to fix that. So type in the name of your trading partner and click Invite to invite him into this temporary guild. Once your partner joins the guild, then it's time to trade the points. Next, click on the craftsman whose points you're trading. In this case, it's the blacksmith. If he's busy, you'll need to wait until he finishes with his current job. Click the More button on the Craftsman screen, and then click the Improve button since we are working on improvements. You'll see a list of all the improvements that your current guildmates need work on. Make sure to click the one that they've requested that you work on for them, and then click the Improve button. Now type the number of points that you wish to trade, and then press OK. Generally this will be 1000. Ask the other person to do the points on your improvement, and it should show up on the improvement screen. Remember to leave the temporary guild after the trade is complete. If you don't, every end game day the guild membership fee will be deducted. And that's it. You now know how to trade and you just need to repeat as necessary.